Kara was exploring. She walked daintily along the wall, ignoring the sheer drops on either side, and gradually building up confidence as she stepped along it. I wonder if I could reach that window ledge. A leap into the unknown. Here goes. She flew through the air and landed, splat, clinging onto the window ledge with her front paws. She scrambled up and squashed herself into the tiny window ledge. Oh no. Now the wind has got her. A plastic bag flew across the chasm and slapped her in the face. Then a chaffinch flew in, blown in on the wind. Ha ha, you do look funny. Ha ha, were you doing that leap into the unknown thing? All cats do that. You should fly like we do. <laughs> Kara was sick of unhelpful advice from fellow creatures, especially a creature who wasn't making any attempt to understand the special idiosyncrasies of a cat and a Kara cat. <clears throat> Can I help you? What you need is a measure. My grandpa Raven always said, measure twice and cut once. Or was it measure twice and jump once? Or was it twice or was it thrice? Never mind, what matters is the measuring. Trust me. Kara couldn't see how measuring would help her cross the chasm. It would just make her see how hard it was to do. She wanted to cry. Just then, Jackdaw arrived. Hello, Kara. Kara, you know, working out what your body can do is good. Chaffinch may be right. Measuring how far you have to travel is also good. Hmm, doesn't solve your problem though. Think really hard and you will find that deep down inside you, you know how to cross the chasm. You know the answer. Kara thought and thought about all that she'd learnt that morning and then had a bright idea. This is perfect. The chaffinch and the raven and the jackdaw's advice, they've all come in handy. Also, looking round at my house and at my garden, that comes in useful too. And also, definitely recycling's good. Kara leapt up and, blown by the wind, she floated over the chasm and landed gracefully on all four feet on the wall. That's the way to do it. She smiled and thanked the chaffinch and the jackdaw and the raven, turned round and went back home. Thank you for watching. These were pictures painted for the Armchair Painting Group. Tune in again for some more adventures of Kara the Curious Cat.